Good morning, everyone. Steve here. Now, it's the start of day five, and we're heading to Chiba. It's around about an hour away, I think. It's an hour and 10 minutes from where I'm staying. So I'm looking forward. I don't think there's that many stores there. Maybe like, you know, five, six, seven in total, but going to everywhere that we wanted to go to in Tokyo. So we just might as well try it out. And some people are gonna ask if I'm wearing the same sweater every day. I'm not actually. I have three of this blue sweater and I'm just swapping them out and I'm gonna wash them all tonight also. So it's not the same one every day, but just if you were wondering, <laughs> No one's very wondering, but yeah, let's um... I won some auctions overnight. On Yahoo Japan, I won some auctions. It's bright outside today. Jesus, can you see that bright light on me? Beautiful. Beautiful morning here in Reno. But... I won some auctions last night on Yahoo Japan, and I think... It's been around 3 million yen, so... You know, I'm not sure what that means for the rest of this trip. I didn't really plan on uh, winning that much stuff or spending that much money. And I'm sure I'll show all that stuff up in the channel eventually, but yeah, it could be, could be the end of, the end of my <laughs> extension <laughs> spending. I don't even know if that's a word, but it should not be too bad. I mean, look, I'm gonna keep buying stuff. I'm gonna keep spending money. My budget for this trip, honestly, it was around 70,000 Australian dollars. And that was, you know, separated to like $20,000 worth of stuff to sell for like, you know, raw prices and for my single store, twenty to $30,000 of stuff to buy for graded. And usually those cards are a little bit more expensive. And then like 20 grand if I see something good for my collection or like a high price item to like sell. So it's a one hour train ride to Chiba. And I'm looking forward to it. I get to sit down for an hour, my calves are killing me. But also, I get to watch an NBA game. Because the Lakers game is about to start. So, wish me luck, and I'll see you guys when I'm at a card store. All right, we just arrived at Chiba, and this place is absolutely just amazing. I think you'll find, if you go out of the cities in Japan, you'll just find some nice little towns, little cities, barely anyone walking around, usually a little bit older and stuff like that. This is just a nice place, it's just, beautiful scenery and I'm sure it's going to get even better as I walk around but you know if I see some more nice looking places I'll definitely document it a little bit this doesn't have to all be about cards it can be about finding stuff or whatever I have no microphone connected for this so the sound might be really bad because it's still loud near a train station and everything in between but there's a little bit of a, a shrine over there it looks like some people are praying if you see here it's like an entrance to a shrine it's pretty cool some cute looking little cat things and I'm gonna just keep walking keep cruising through I mean the weather is absolutely beautiful today nine degrees it's better than the two degrees three degrees I've had to deal with so uh, let's just enjoy Chiba while we're here wow check this out just look at this just these are all like oh my god this is just is so nice as you walk around it's incredible and then some nice looking sort of suburb slash city architecture, I guess. So, let's see if we can find some card stores. I'm meeting up with West in about 10 minutes. He's already been here for around half an hour, so. Oh, should be good, wish me luck. Okay, funny story. There's actually two train stations that have cheaper in the name, and I got off on the wrong one. Said I have now had to walk 30 minutes to the next train station, and I was about halfway till I realized I was in the wrong spot. So we either had to walk back to the train station or walk to the next train station. So 30 minutes of walking done for absolutely no reason. But it is what it is. Make sure you're double checking everything you do in this godforsaken place. <laughs> oh, and you, you might think like 30 minutes is not that bad, but I only have so much walking that I can do each day. I have to conserve my energy. I have to make sure because it's only midday right now. I've got around eight to nine hours more of walking and walking upstairs, walking downstairs, and car dropping, so yeah, it is what it is, but this might come back to haunt me at around 6, 7 p.m. when I'm struggling to walk up the steep stairs of card shops, but this is probably more like it. This is Chiba. There's a lot of buildings and a lot of cities, nothing like the Chiba I uh, 
previously thought was cheaper. <laughs> I'm tired now from walking up all those stairs. I'm, I'm a fat old man. All right. Pray for me. All right, we had some breakfast. Of course it gets windy as soon as I start recording. Oh my God, we just, we just got some breakfast and I'm with Wes now and we've got a hobby station in Chiba. Chiba, right? Chiba. Chiba, is that how you say it? So it should be good. Feel really full. It's cooled down quite a bit. The wind is here. Oh, let's hope they got some goodies. Okay, we have arrived at Hobby Station. Just gonna take a quick little squeeze of things and just show you. This place is pretty crazy. There's a little bit of a Pokemon section over there. And they got a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. And this is what I'm looking for right around here. Yu-Gi-Oh Ghost Race. So I'm gonna check some of these and take some more footage. At the Pokemon section at the Hobby Station, we see we got the base set Charizard. We got some classic collection. 20,000 yen gold Tiger is pretty good. Pretty good. This is a Masaki set for 80,000 yen. So Wes can't check that. Hopefully we can get a deal. Hopefully we get a deal. Hopefully it's not damaged. It's most likely gonna be. It's gonna fucked. be damaged. It's gonna be so <laughs> fucking damaged, but it's fine. Trying to get some Weiss cards and some more Pokemon. Yeah, this is not too bad. Hobby Station in uh, Chiba. I already forgot. I already forgot where I was. Crazy card game. I don't know what these are, but some card games actually just look so good. Like they're, they're actually just look so good. So I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's Jewel Masters, I guess. It says they're on the thing. Jewel Masters. So a bunch of Jewel Masters. And we go down here. Looks like One Piece. Wise. Wise, wise. Is that JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Wise? That's pretty cool. All the way over here. We got some Pokemon if you want to check some prices. Uh, any universal cards here that everyone will know? Uh, probably not really. Maybe Marnie. This damage 17,000 yen. We got the Wowie Fanfares. Wow, 7,800 to 12,000. Look at the other one. Sealed Game Boy Dragonite is 9,800. You know, it's not a huge store, but you know, when you come to places like this in Japan, you need to just get a little bit from each store. I already bought 7,000 yen worth of Yu Gi Oh cards, so that was pretty good. But West bought a bunch of Pokemon, and he had nothing I was really interested in. They, we checked these, and these were like PSA probably eight. That's actually not bad, but they're Pikachu PSA eight, 30,000 yen, but not exactly what I'm looking for today. I mean, as I said, I think I said it at the end of yesterday's video that I just won some Yahoo. Uh, auctions last night where I spent 3 million yen on Pokemon cards so there might be not that much more Pokemon card buying for the rest of this trip to be honest but we'll see if I see some deals that are you know can't pass up I will definitely buy them but yeah if you want to know what it is it's 3 million yen worth of e-series cards <coughs> like 500 hollows and maybe around 11 kilograms of e-series bulk so Kimmy's cards will have a lot of E-Series cards for sale in the future, so yeah. <laughs> Other than that, this is Hobby Station in Chiba, not too bad. Not too bad, a nice looking store, it's quite big. I think you'll notice when you go out of the city, the stores are much bigger, and there's play area, and it's a little bit more relaxed. So definitely, you know, if you have a few extra days, I highly suggest going out of the city because it's also something nice to see in Japan. You're not just like stuck in Tokyo, like in a Tokyo in Akihabara the whole time. It's just good. So we're on to the next door now, and hopefully they got some good stuff for me. We have the Misaki set for eighty thousand yen from Hobby Station, and the conditions are pretty good. Light played on pretty much everything, so I'll be definitely trying to sell these as singles. So eighty thousand yen from Misaki set. I'm pretty happy. These guys let me film it on their counter, very nice of uh, Hobby Station here in Chiba. So I just want to show this real quick and this game got like, such a nice looking hollow on this. It's very, very good. So thank you Hobby Station. Okay, so one thing to note when you're out here in the outskirts of uh, Tokyo is these stores do not deal with Western folk that often. I got to go to the mask. I'm pretty sure that's it. sorry. I mean, thank you. I don't know. I, I butcher that word every time I say it to a Japanese person, they probably lose their mind and think I'm stupid. But these stores do not deal with Westerners that often. It took West around six or seven minutes just to use card payment because he had to explain card payment to us. So it was kind of funny to, to hear him. <laughs> Maybe you just start off saying no lump sum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you say lump sum. I, it's, it's just so weird. West bought like 10,000 yen worth of stuff and like he said lump sum payment only and, and then he wouldn't accept card and then he wanted card and I don't know, it was hilarious. So. Mm. 
Language barrier is definitely our problem over here in Shiba. To the next store. All right, so we're walking towards this other store called Card Shop PAO in Chiba. So if you want to look for this, look for this big thing. And I'll have to ask if we can record oh, a bunch of cute plushies just to like, put it out the front there. No one steals anything in Japan. It's kind of crazy. There's a guy there, he's staring at me. So let's see what this is like. So you're at um, Card Shop PAO. PAO, man. It is uh, quite a big store, I'm not going to lie. This place is huge. Now it is incredibly busy. <laughs> So, something coming over the the PA right now. It's going to be really loud. But they just have so many cards, just like modern, everything, every alt art, every full art, every SAR. I don't want to be getting in people's plays too much, but it's just they have about 10 to 15 cases just like this. They have hundreds of bulk boxes of every set. They have every card game. This store. Card shop here is actually disgusting. I'm not gonna be able to do a walkthrough because it's just packed, even in Chiba. But yeah, it, this this shop is just nuts. So if you come to Tokyo, maybe this might be a destination as they have pretty much some of the cheapest prices on every modern card. You see here, this Charizard here. Let's see if I can, can I zoom in on this? Fifteen thousand yen for that Charizard. Every other store is like twenty thousand, something like that. And this Charizard to the right was actually fifteen thousand yen as well, but there was a previous price sticker on it that was 15,000 yen. So usually they just lay a new cards on top and then you get to buy them at the cheapest price. So yeah, these two charges at 15,000 yen is like cheaper than anywhere else I've seen. So it's quite incredible. Card shop, PAO in Chiba. It's a good one. All right, so we're playing this uh, claw machine at Card Shop Pow and it's we scam. hate money enough as much as we do. So it is a scam, 100 yen coin. Grab this camera, let's go. All right, you gotta win. All right. I'm gonna grab some green stuff, I think. Okay. From back here, right? I mean, if you go for the green, you can't miss it, surely. Okay, this Wait. is actually a scam. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is that? Okay. Okay, okay. I made this shit too hard. We're going okay. again? We don't go again. We already lost 200 yen. It's I'm, over. I've already lost so much money since being here. This is the lottery prize wall. We wanted a chance to win some of this. Jeez, both the things at the same time are so loud. There's so many prizes in here, and we're not going to win any of them. It's impossible. What a game. All right, so we're still in Chiba. Outside, no microphone. Audio is probably garbage, but that's fine. Oh, look at that light. That's way better. The sun is shining on my face. It's cooling down a little bit. I walked a whole bunch in the sun today. It was nice for once, but now it's just whatever. Anyway, back to the real content. This is what you're here for. I'm at the front of the store. I asked, they said no pictures, no filming, which is perfectly fine. It is called C Labo. It's a popular chain it sounds for like card lab i guess and it's in chiba and always oh, been around you know 15 20 minutes in here checking some pokemon checking Yu Gi Oh. you know bought some pokemon bought some Yu Gi Oh. bought some charizard sars and you know, looking at this vending machine i actually feel kind of thirsty to be honest but um i'm uh there's wes he just came out of the Sorry. thing um uh, <laughs> yeah I was looking at the vending machine and I was feeling thirsty. Am I gonna, <laughs> I'm am I gonna, feeling kind of thirsty too. Am I going to drink after this one? But we're about to go across the road <laughs> to this other store, uh, Surugia, somewhere up there. So he actually spoke like, English. That's quite cool. He spoke English? Yeah. That's rare. Hopefully we didn't say anything uh, in English. Uh, I probably did. That's a rare Pokemon out in the wild in Japan. Someone speaking English and actually helping us out. That's really nice. Uh, I have to go to the crossing now. So yeah, Card Labo in Chiba, not too bad. Not too bad. Decent selection of Yu-Gi-Oh! bit expensive on the Pokemon when when their buy list is like more than some other stores were selling us the cards for it's kind of confusing but maybe they just haven't got onto the wave of Pokemon's crashing to zero so maybe they'll update the Pokemon prices but there was one or two cards there is always good every store has one or two cards that are pretty good so we're going to go to Surugia now maybe pick up some other random things and maybe they might let me take some photos let's brage maybe maybe time for the Surugia specialty store into the elevator. Oh, my legs are so sore. <sighs> At least we don't have five sets of stairs. Yeah, they should have to walk <laughs> upstairs. Some of the stairs aren't that bad, but when the stairs are like... A foot tall. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. They're just, it's like, it's not stairs anymore. It's like you're climbing a wall, like small walls piled up on top of each other that imitate stairs, but it's just like a small wall. You press the button? What's going on up there? A lake. Oh, that's you, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, we're in Sugia. Let's uh, turn the camera off and ask if we can film. 
the Sarugia man said it was okay to film, so we're going to film. And let's hope this radio isn't too loud. This music's banging. So we've got a Pokemon case here. What do we got? Pokemon Center box. Which one's that? Uh, it's the fighting box, right? Oh, it says right there. I got a level X pack here. We got a level X. Oh, a Charizard level X pack, 60,000 yen. World Championship box, 20,000. 151 box, 25,000. It's not too bad. It's like market price. It's about market price for a lot of this stuff, which is pretty fair because they are a store. Bunch of magic, some Dragon Ball. Oh, 5,000 yen for a Pokemon booster box. That's not really rare. That's actually like lower than MSRP. <laughs> How is that even well, possible? Oh, 38,000 oh, 38, yen classic collection? That's so what? 8,000 over the that, price. It's 33,000 pre order. Plus, like, is it? yeah, plus it was like 3,000 for shipping. <laughs> so it's pretty much the same price. If you ordered on Pokemon Center, what else they got? 47,000 for the. Gold box. There's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Three Kyber Blue Eyes Kyber Case 30,000. That's not too bad. It's right here. Bunch of packs. It's a secret utility box. I don't know what that is. PS5. Oh, these these are these are prizes in the uh, the lucky bag, a Reaper, from this thing here. Remember how we lost? Yeah. 200 yen per pay, play oh. here. That's kind of a scam. That's, uh, that's really bad, but. I don't know what that noise was, but the rest of this store is, you know, just... This is a random store in Japan. This is just what they look like if you've never been to Japan. This is a Rugia. They just have secondhand everything. Nothing is new. It's all, that's pretty cool. A Leafy on Eevee clear fall. It's kind of kind of cool. Not gonna lie, but they all just have random, random stuff. Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Did you already check some of these? Yeah, I went through this morning. Was, uh, Any ghost red? Conditions are not great. Oh, four feet. There's a ghost red there, but it's damaged. Yeah. Yellow sticker usually means damaged here, so... Where's the Pokemon? That's on the other side. Other side? Oh, Where are the Pokemon? Right. There's just stuff everywhere. Okay, wait, so we got... Oh, we got some Charizards. That's pretty cool. We got bit. E-Series Hound Door for 40 yen. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's actually crazy. Like this is like five hundred dollars PSA ten, and it's a thousand yen for like a thousand yen. Yeah, but it's always bad. That, that card's always bad condition. That's an unlimited EX battle boost, twenty five hundred yen. That's actually kind of rare. What else we got here? Shiny Volpix, almost the same price as Master Ball. That makes sense. Some Charizard one fifty ones. Oh, there's ones you got for eleven thousand. Pretty good deals. Is that the card you were talking about? Yeah. Okay. This time into there, did you check that? 3,000? No. Don't buy a whole box. Oh, you're gonna actually go buy one? Yeah. Oh. Make our way around these. So everything's separated by color. Type and by alphabet. Okay. Type and alphabet. What the fuck is that noise? Is that the police or something? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> We're getting arrested. What We're is going, going on? <laughs> this card's. Like dangerously expensive everywhere. It's a CP6 version. Yeah. It's just a common. It's a, it's a secret rare. Oh, okay. Is it actually? I thought it was uncommon. This must be a secret rare. Well, preserver. it's like its own rarity. Yeah. For all those, like, the Oh, uh, yeah, the Imakuni. Yeah, right. I see. I don't know anything about Pokemon. You got a VS Yanma, 450 yen. They have conditions on here, or is it just yellow sticker? Yellow sticker is damaged. Yellow, yellow sticker is damaged. Like PSA 6 to PSA 10. Jump Love for 4,400. Wild Plume Shiny, 300. Yeah, I mean, it's about normal. It's Sarugia, right? It's not going to be the most the most competitive prices. Each Sarugia store sets their own prices. It's not like yeah. some stores, so. There's just a, a Glaceon Level X, 7,600. Nothing out of this world, but yeah. it's. Oh, you should show the Psyduck. This is the best centered Psyduck I've ever seen. Best centered Scream Psyduck. Did you check this card? Yeah, it's probably like uh, a little bit extra. It's not a bad price. That's one of my favorite. The LeBron James moment. That's one of my favorite cards. That's one of my favorite cards. That's one of my favorite sayings. You wouldn't get it. You don't watch NBA because you're a loser. You're not, you're not a baller. Put that in the video. Put that in the video. What else is going on? <laughs> if you don't watch NBA, you're actually a different level of human. If you don't enjoy peak gameplay. Okay, two really bad cards and they're both really cheap. Other than that, this is uh, Surugia. We can walk through. Doesn't have to just be Pokemon here. Like can... board, games and stuff, just kind of board games. Where's the video games? They're downstairs. Oh, video games downstairs. Okay, we'll go down there. 
What? Uh, is, what I, don't, I don't know. This Jewel Monsters, maybe? Shadowverse. Shadowverse or Jewel Monsters? Oh, this is Jewel Monsters. It is that Shadowverse. Oh, this is Jewel Monsters. This is also Jewel Monsters. I guess it yeah. all these things kind of just like blend in and look the same <laughs> after a while. This is, what is this? This is figurines. Yeah. yeah. These stores actually just go forever. All right, well, let's. Do we check out the Unity boxes here? Yeah. Okay, we'll buy those here. Buying two new boxes of the newest Yu Gi Oh set. And then we're going to go downstairs and check the video games. You kind of have to do everything when you're in Japan. You can't just go here just for Pokemon. So you need to know everything. Master of everything. Complete first season of The Simpsons. Oh, every, every Simpsons season. That's... In Japanese. In Japanese. <laughs> it would actually be so much better than the English version. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay, now we're at the video game section. And this is probably the most video games I've seen in any any store since I've been in Japan, really. But I haven't really been looking. So we've got Donkey Kong 1 and 2 here. This music is really loud in this store. So we've got Sim City, Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, rest in peace to the goat. Over there. Treasure Hunter, more Dragon Ball Z games. We've got Final Fantasy. This is the one I have on my shelf at home. 300 yen, awesome boxes with awesome box art. Honestly, there's, there's gonna be a time where you can't find this stuff for like 10 bucks anymore. Oh, well, this one's 4,000 yen for that. That might be, might be. I don't really know how to check if these games are like unopened or anything. So the unopened ones would likely be the ones that hold a lot more value and they're likely to be a lot more expensive. But we got Super Mario World down here, Bomberman 5. The Lord of Elemental, Donkey Kong 3. There's just games upon games everywhere. How much is Super Mario World? Just to give you an idea. It's the wrong way. 4,800 yen. Super Mario World. 4,800 4, for Super Mario World. That's oh, what's this game? Hey, yo. Hey. It's a Mahjong. What is it? Oh, it's a Mahjong. With women, okay. Oh, it's got it's got slot games too. Casinos. Okay. Well, I might buy that one. What's this? Stallion ninety six. Uh, yeah. I don't really know much about games to be honest. Oh, we got this is Yoshi's Island. Oh, Yoshi Land. Oh no, Yoshi Island. For the Super Famicom. It's a sample. Please bring to the register. There's no games inside any of these. It looks like. But I personally think the boxes hold more value than the games do these days. As they have hundreds of games all over there. But I just wanted to show some some video games off to the video game fans. I'm sure there's people out there. I just picked up these new Unity boxes for the new Yu-Gi-Oh set. But yeah, they just, they just got games on games. I'm not really sure what to show. They're just everywhere. So this is Surugia. It's on the first floor. There's just everything. What's over here? Oh, Nintendo 64 box games. Mario Party 2, Paper Mario, Mario Party 3, Pokemon Stadium, Star Fox 64, Super Mario 64, 4600 yen, and 2000 yen. And you wouldn't be able to find these in English in anywhere in the world. The Legend of Zelda, Mario 64, Majora's Mask, Donkey Kong, Banjo Kazooie. Oh, that's not Donkey Kong, that's Banjo Tooie, right? Donkey Kong 64. Smash Bros for 4,000 yen, it's actually... Where is it? Oh, oh God. Smash Bros. What condition the box is in? I mean, it depends. It's normally like play. We've like, got a little bit of crease here. But I mean, for 4,000, like this game is... Yeah. It's like hundreds of dollars for complete in English. Yeah. So... It's actually to, really cool. To pick it up for like 30 bucks. Buy it in store as well. You get like an attachment to it. This is the easiest game to find of all time I've found. <laughs> yeah. There, this is the, the hard version, which is the hard version to find. Also kind of 3700 yen for Pokemon, it's Pokemon Stadium 2, right? Yeah. But the non gold and silver cartridge, like the yes, gold on one side. This is like and Stadium still. 3, so there's Stadium 1. Oh, okay. This is Stadium 2. This is, but oh. in, in English, there was no Stadium 3. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I think. No, there is no Stadium 3 in English, as far as I'm concerned. We'll get. Yeah, oh, here's Stadium 1. And it's oh. got the big box. We're going to get corrected by experts on YouTube anyway, <laughs> so if I do anything wrong, oh. they'll definitely let me know that I've done something wrong. So we've got CDs here, Sarugias, Sarugias everywhere. What's going on over here? 
uh, books. Uh, well, I can't read in English, so reading in Japanese is definitely. Well, they got, they got, this is strategy guides. Oh, strategy guides. So this is like uh, oh. for like hard gold and silver. Hopefully they have pictures. This is like, that's RCS. a lot of reading. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not that much strategy to that game. It has EXP share, bro. It's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's Kingdom sort of in the banks. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts is pretty cool. good. Really cool yeah, cover. I've never played that game, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I never, I only ever played Nintendo games and play PlayStation games because I'm not a freak. <laughs> Elden Ring Complete Guide, you definitely need that to play that game. The game's fucking stupid. I couldn't finish Elden Ring because I suck. Oh, sorry. This is like the original Sonic game. Oh, the, the actual? The yeah, set, Mega Drive. Mega Drive cartridge Sonic. Is that the original box? Like, is that how they came out, or is that like a reprint box? I have no idea. I've never touched a Sega. A little bit before my time. I Wait, what is this, Final Fantasy? Uh, Just Final Fantasy. Is it Final Fantasy 1? No, it's some complete, like, it might be the soundtrack. I think these are soundtracks. Okay. Like, that's what these look like. It looks like a CD. What is this? Okay, Genshin Impact or something. Oh, it says Demon Slayer. Tokyo Revengers, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, we're, we're in here. Oh, these Game Boy, Game Boy Advance? What, what's this one? Pokemon Pinball. Yeah. So 7,700 yen for Pokemon Pinball. That's the first Pokemon game I found. Yeah, oh, we have more Pokemon games here. They're really expensive. That is really expensive. What's that? 14,000 for green, 14,000 for blue. Oh, watch out. 4,000 for gold, 4,600 Kirby. 7,800. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, look, everyone wants Here's them. Here's some rare information. If the UPC covers the whole box, then yeah. it's a first print, but so you'll the, never see them. Like, the, if the UPC is big and it covers the whole box. So, box. this barcode at the back, if it's the whole bottom. Well, like, if it fills in the white, this is a small barcode. Oh, so if the barcode fills in the whole white box, it's a first print. Yeah, yeah. Okay, show the blue, maybe. No, the blue is almost like this is a coral print. Oh, oh yeah, it would be like this, but this is. um. With blue, it's different. It's just with red and green. Oh, just with red and green and yeah, blue. Yeah. No, blue is different. Okay, so red and green, if the barcode fills it just like the blue. Hold both of them up. All right, so here's the green, and it's got the small blueprint, or small UPC. Small barcode, okay, and that's got a big barcode. It's got the big barcode. Okay, so if the green is like the blue, it's the first it's print the green. It's the first print, yeah. All right, and then the cartridge should have a little thing that's different on it as well. Yeah, well, you Sometimes. can't tell for unopened games. So. You can't tell, because they might have swapped out the cartridge, because... Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's well, all. That's a bit of, bit of a knowledge bomb. Ramble. Harry Potter. Here they got Pokemon Red. Final too. Fantasy Tactics. Oh. Nine thousand yen. I mean, it's it's really bad condition, but. Not Nine thousand yen. What about this one? UPCs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody's that's, taped over the UPC. And that's that's more expensive. Yeah. Okay. More damage equals more expensive. All right. Well, this is video games. Just for you. If anyone out there likes video games, and yeah, this CDs. So I've tried to take this moment to sit down, relax, enjoy some sun outside while uh, Wes finishes off checking some video games. I'm, I'm not too interested in video games, they just take up too much space. I like cards, but no cards I wanted to buy from Surugio. They had actually so many. They actually had so many cards that I was thinking about checking, but sometimes it's just not there for you. The price or the condition, everything. You don't actually have to buy. You know, don't feel pressured to buy. Take as long as you need. Honestly, don't go in with the intention to waste time because it's just rude. But you don't feel forced to buy anything. Just put it down, go to the next store. There's there's so many stores. And this uh, cheaper has been pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I was apprehensive about coming here. But, you know, there's been like, what, three or four pretty big sized card stores with like prices lower than most of Akihabara. On Pokemon, at least on Yu-Gi-Oh! price doesn't really bother too much for me because most of my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff is like two like a thousand to three thousand yen so a little bit of discounts not a big deal a little bit more is not a big deal I kind of buy based on condition more than anything but the Pokemon stuff is all pretty good condition but the prices can you know some stores can have a card for 20,000 yen and then another store can have it for 14,000 yen and that's that's a big deal when it comes to buying like four five six ten copies of the same card you actually can save quite a bit so yeah, I think we're up to, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening there. This person yelling and <laughs> running past me, but yeah, I'm not sure where we're up to next. I think there's one more card store just around the corner we're gonna go check out, but ah, it's been a pretty good day so far. It's 2 p.m. right now. The sun is shining in beautiful Chiba. There is, there you go. There's a little bit of an outside shot. 
That's uh, Card Labo over there. The sun's up in the sky, burning my retinas down. So, ah, hopefully onto the next door. Maybe we can get some more good deals. Okay, I'm still in Chiba, and I have to be very quiet because this is a very quiet area. And I'm fairly certain people live in this building. I think there's people's houses. But I have stumbled upon a card store called Card Shop Eve. It's a cute little thing like that, Card Shop Eve. With this little thing here. Now it's not that big. It's quite small, but I'm just gonna show the store off a little bit. They gave me permission to do this. So I'm just gonna show the stuff they have and everything in between. So they just have Pokemon Card Classic. There's Wester, where he's buying stuff. A bunch of Olipa and stuff like that. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to record without being too embarrassing. A bunch of playables on the bottom here, and some more cards here. And they have some PSA cards on display. Sorry. <laughs> and a very nice person here who uh, speaks English, helping us out. So, some old school full arts, some new stuff. So, the yellow stickers doesn't always mean damage. Sometimes it means they have too many. That's what I was told. So, so there. I'll show some of these up. We've got the Charizard GX. Shiny GX, 128k, 45k Giratina. That's actually a pretty good price. 24k for V Star Charizard. It's always hard in these stores with the the light reflection, 10,000 yen mu, some some nice stuff, and then they just have one piece as well, so, got some old, old, what is it, old arts or art rares, whatever you want to call them, oh, some new Nagaba Pikachus, 2,400 yen, everything else in between, so, it's getting loud in here, there's a bunch of players, so, Probably uh, turn those off. And there's there's card shops everywhere in Japan. Like you just search, search trading cards into Google, and then just we'll type in Google Translate first, get the Japanese trading cards, and then put it into Google Maps, and it just it just lights up. So pretty nice store called Card Shop Eve in Chiba. And we've got the two Charizards there, two thousand, one thousand. Some sealed stuff in the store. Uh, 151 booster box, Starbirth, all the booster boxes. Shiny EX, MSRP, 9000 V Star Universe. Pretty normal. Some older boxes. Mew plushies, Ampharos plush. Oh, that's a Lindor chocolate Ampharos. I've never even seen that before. So. Yeah, pretty nice store, Card Shop Eve. Okay, goodbye Card Shop Eve. This place is actually in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, uh, actually just like a residential building or something. Maybe small offices or I don't know, but it's just, it's just like walking into random places all over the place. Uh, uh, my legs are getting sore from going down and going upstairs and going down and going up. I think my calves have stopped working. <laughs> I'm getting old, getting old fellas, but the night is still young, it's 2 o'clock, I'll show you how we get out of here, it was a nice little store, they actually had PSA cards for 2,000 yen each, not a good one, but they still had them, Ugh. out we go, and there it is, card shop Eve, in this alleyway, across the road from Surugia. Surugia is just over there, right next to Sea Labo. So good luck finding this place. Well, you did just tell me where it is. What? We should be able to find it. Should be able to find it, yeah. So, off to the next place now. I don't know where that is, but we're going to go back onto the train. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. If the train crashes, this will be the last ever recording I do. But you'll probably never see it because I probably won't go home and upload it because I'll be dead on the train. Most likely. <laughs> Well, unless it's a really, not a bad crash, but I don't know why I'm still talking. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm here at the front of two popular chains in Japan, uh, Yellow Submarine, Hobby Base, and Mint. So I'm just going to show Mint. It's over here, just in this corner. It's mostly sports cards, Mint. A little bit of Pokemon at some stores. Sports cards and One Piece, but yeah, there's no Pokemon really. And Yellow Submarine is kind of like a Sarugia where they just have everything. So there might be some cards in here. If there is, I'll show you. If there's not, I guess this will be it. And we'll just be in the randomly one hour in the future in another card store. I am here in Yellow Submarine in Chiba. And they have Pokemon cards. So I just had to go to the different store. 
And I'm just going to show some of the ones in this case, down the bottom there. The Scream Psyduck, some other stuff. Uh, printouts of the cards it looks like, they're not the actual cards because they're too expensive it looks like. Uh, I've got some Charizard EXs right there. Another Charizard EX, but the prices are pretty high, 22000 19000 We already bought those cards today, just down the road for 15000 so... But the stores are quite large. There is a lot of, a lot of cards just everywhere. A lot of cards. Every card game that you can think of. Dragon Ball Super, Magic, One Piece, Yu-Gi-Oh, everything. But, you know, it's a big chain store, so... Sometimes when prices fluctuate up and down, up and down, it takes a while for these stores to catch on. But they might be a little bit, you know, more than the current market price, so... This is Hobby Station. I'm not going to show too much more because it's just, you know, this is pretty much it for the Pokemon section, this little glass case. But, yeah, uh, as you can see, they have you know, Erika's 8,000, Guzma 46,000, Sites here 160k. Like, uh, it's just unfortunate when the prices spike up so much, everything goes down. But they have so much bulk boxes of One Piece and Pokemon. And, Everything just everywhere. A huge player at the back there, it looks like. Yeah, so this is a hobby base, Yellow Submarine in Chiba. It's okay. It's so so. That's what they say in Japan. Eh, so so condition. So I'm using their slang for their own stores. To the next door, boys. So we're in Shinjuku right now. It's busy as hell. And we're off to some stores. There's people everywhere, as you can see. Uh, Billboards, 3D billboards, it's kind of nuts. Uh, I don't know what's going on. We're gonna try and get to the other side. Lots of suits behind me. All right, we're in Shinjuku, going to a book off. Ah, should be good. I'm tired, but it's fine. My lips are sore, but it's fine because we are searching for deals. This is this is hard work. People think it's not hard work. This is hard work, and there is. A book off and there's lots of trading card stuff already it's kind of crazy so i'll come back if there's good stuff all right we're here at book off in shinjuku and we have found some pokemon cards we've got an ev hyper rare 4000 ev near discovery 600 yen yeah, that's uh that's some tokyo prices for you but we got oh actually a heracross 380 yen that's actually pretty cheap 6000 for neo discovery neo file Charizard. Uh, modern otherwise, we've got a teammates, 90,000 yen. And then we got modern, 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 more modern. Try not to point my camera at anyone. But it's uh oh, it's probably peak time. Almost peak time, right? Five, six o'clock, it's gonna get real busy. Oh they got some Charizard. We're gonna see. Oh they said I didn't turn my camera around, it's just looking at me. <laughs> oh shit, that's awkward. Uh, <laughs> 22,000. It says 20% yeah. off though. That means it's damaged, so. Oh. So it's 20% damaged. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's damaged if it says 20% off. So 19,000 for Charizard, 22,000 for. Yeah, sometimes they're like 60% off. That's like six, 7,000 yen more than we paid already, so. I got Mew SAI, 18,000. You bought one for 10. Yeah. Uh, book off in Shinjuku. Uh, might be a little bit of scammerino is going on in here. Oh, sorry. Well, I guess sorry doesn't really mean anything. Some, it's actually some people's name in Japan. Sorry, so can't can't always just be spamming the word sorry because you might be just saying someone's name and they get confused. All right, we're on to the next door. Book off in Shinjuku is a no go, bro. We're still in Shinjuku. Here's another store. It is called Full Comp, third floor of this building. Good luck finding it. It has a lot of Pokemon, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, a lot of modern. Nothing that I'm looking for, unfortunately. The five cards I checked weren't up to my condition standards, unfortunately. But if you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, you might be able to go there. It's pretty cheap. It was actually like the prices were ridiculously cheap compared to a store like Card Rush or something like that. But <sighs> when you're trying to get PSA 10, you can't buy the cards with damage. It is what it is. Now we're in the elevator. Hopefully it doesn't crash. And we're on to the next door, which I think is around the corner. So, you first. I don't want to move anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to walk anymore. Where's I'm going to die. We walked too hard. We walked too hard today. 
Oh, to the next door, boys. To the next door. Hello, everyone. I'm back again. Who would have thought that I would be back in my own video? Oh my god. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm at a new store. It is called uh, Yusei Norash. I actually forgot what it was called. Look, it has a really, really hard name to say. It's called like, it starts with like R Y U Say Norash. They really, really hard to say name. I'm just waffling on at this point. And they have Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh!, One Piece, everything. The store is absolutely huge. I'm gonna look at some of their old Pokemon to start off with to give you an idea on prices. Entei, Town on a Map, Venusaur Expedition, 30,000, 24,000, Blastoise, Yellow Stick, I mean, damaged also. And they got Victory Bell, 9,000, Kingler, 8,000, Typhlosion, 8,000, Aridos, 8,000, yeah. And then VS, Nine Tails, 2,000, Stampbox, Pikachu, 44. I don't have my microphone connected, so I'm, I think it might be really bad audio in this, in this store. We got some base expedition blast, though, 700. Articuno, 60,000 yen. Mint 9 Gyarados, 50,000. Hound Doom, 50,000. So this store is still kind of up there on price, but you know, maybe they have good cards, maybe they have a... I'm about to start checking the cards, but I asked if I could just take a quick video and they said that's fine. So we got the new set. Oh. They have Charizard. Maybe yellow is not damaged. Maybe yellow is special price. So I'm not sure because that's really high price for those two cards if they're not damaged. And we have Mew EX for 10,000 and 14,000. And we got the, you know, Deoxys, Alt, SAR, and they're both SARs, I guess. 800 and 1,000 Mew oh, You can tell I'm just a little bit. I'm a little bit done for at this point. <laughs> you can tell that my, my mind is just not working and my, my words aren't coming out and everything's just kind of... But even my camera's working a little bit slow now. So everything's just bad. Yeah, everything's just going bad for Steve today. So this might be one of the last stores that I see today. But overall, I mean, they have a large selection of One Piece, of Yu-Gi-Oh, of everything. So. And West is over there looking at some Yu Gi Oh cards. So we got the. Let's, let's check some new art rares. 380, 400 yen for them. Curlier routes, 500, 400 yen. About normal. Misty, 6,000, 7,000. Might even be able to get most of these cheaper on eBay, people. Cardenia's, 2,000 yen. Iono, 80,000 and 16,000. I think I paid a lot more for mine in my collection, but you know, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Um, Anything else here of note? Oh, we've got a birthday Pikachu PSA 10, 17,000 yen. We got new Naga business stuff, 2,000 yen each on average. Nothing really to note, nothing crazy rare or crazy expensive. So, this store, see if I can find their logo anywhere. I haven't been able to find their logo. It looks like this. It looks like this guy with the monkey. That's, that's the logo. It's not very easy to see or easy to say. It is in Shinjuku and it's um, off to the side up a random building, third floor. I'm sorry, I'm going to be no help for this one. It was actually really hard to find for us. So, that's Shinjuku. Maybe I'm be in one more card store around here and then we're off to the next spot. It might even be finished for the night. Maybe. It might be finished. We'll see. It smells horrible. All the card stores are really bad. Every card is damaged. That guy's going crazy with that bike just there. And we're off to Yellow Submarine. And Yellow Submarine in Everywhere Chiba else. was terrible. So I'm going to put money on it. The Yellow Submarine in Shinjuku is terrible. But if we get one card that's like $50 and it's in gem in condition, that's a W. That's worth the time. Because we're already here. And now this audio might be absolutely destroyed because it's so loud right now. But. <sighs> I'm sure like as the videos go on if you compare day one Steve to like day five to day 10 I don't even know what day 14 I'm gonna have like a full beard and I'm gonna be depressed my leg might be broken my ankle might be broken everything's gonna be broken <laughs> I'm just gonna be complaining a whole bunch but we're having fun I'm gonna get some food soon I'm pretty hungry and then we'll figure out I might, go, might call it in early tonight and wake up early tomorrow and go to card stores far, far away from Tokyo. Okay, wish me luck. 
So I'm inside the hobby station. It's really loud in here as usual in most shops. And this place is just a waste of time, really. Unless you want to buy played cards, it might be good, but the, every card that I checked is just so damaged. Plus the way they handled them was just so damaged. And the way the case is set up is really bad. For some of these more modern cards, like if you can see here, they only have one card each. So like you order the card and then they'll bring it out from the back because they have multiple quantities. But with the more expensive cards up there a little bit, they're just like, the way they put them in the shelves, they have to like bend the cards to get them out. And it was just so, it, I can't even explain. I just asked them to get three cards out for me. They just like bent the cards in half. And then one of the cards had like a visible crease from the guy bending it just from passing it to me. And it was like a 10,000 yen card. So um, Yellow Submarine has a lot of cards. As you can see, there's just everywhere. Just cards just everywhere, but I wouldn't really recommend it if you're looking for, you know, mint stuff. But if you want some played stuff, maybe what are we got? Your Giratina 66,000, like, you know, we saw it in some stores for like 45, 50, and just mint condition. So, yeah, I don't know. I can't recommend this store. I'm sorry, Yellow Submarine. At least not the one in Shibuya. I think we had one yesterday in Akikabukuro. Maybe that was actually not too bad. But yeah, this one here is not great. And the West is down there checking some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But yep, Yellow Submarine in Shinjuku. Looks a hard pass from Steve, boys. This is what a, a train at peak time in Japan is like. There is not much space for anyone. <laughs> There is a lot of people in this train. We're getting off the next time. I hope so. <laughs> Alright, we are finishing up the night with some ramen. Looks delicious, lots of pork, lots of noodles, lots of eggs. We're at Ichiran. It's probably one of my favorite places for ramen because it's so easy. You get your own booth and it's pretty fun. But other than that, I think this is the end of the the day five video look at my hair my hair's gone crazy from the beanie but yeah this is the end of day five i'll see you guys tomorrow no more card drops today I'm gonna eat this food and hopefully head home and go to sleep i'm so tired but day six is upon us we meet j love tomorrow so hopefully he's in a good mood and he can perk us up and help us find some more stores hope this audio is not destroyed because it's loud as hell in here <laughs> all right good night everyone and have a great day